Roger Federer acknowledged that he knows that a perfect retirement does not exist as he contemplates his own future in the tennis world. The sporting icon turned 40 this year and a string of relentless injuries have restricted him to only 13 matches over the past two seasons. It is a sign that the Swiss extraordinary career is coming to an end, after years of unprecedented success in the sport. He was the first to reach 20 Grand Slam titles, but HASNT won one since the 2018 Australian Open and has since been caught up by the other members of the Big Three, Rafael Nadal and Novak Djokovic. A run to the semi-finals in Melbourne last year led to the knee injury which kept Federer out for more than 12 months, and this summer he reached the last eight at Wimbledon before his body let him down again. All this enforced time away from the court has led to ever-increasing speculation that he will be retiring soon, though Federer remains hopeful of a return to the tour in 2022. Like any great champion, he wants to be able to call an end to his career on his own terms. For me, a perfect retirement does not exist, Federer said. Of course, I wish to choose the moment of my retirement, and am convinced I will know when the time is right. Once he does decide to step away from professional tennis for good, the Swiss says he wants to spend more time doing the most important things in life. The most notable of those is spending more time with his family after so many years of globetrotting to fulfill his sporting dreams. I'm not afraid of life after tennis, it will be quite a transition towards a more relaxed life, Federer added. His wife Mirka and I have always found a perfect balance between tennis, family and friends. That is what gives me the most pride of my entire career because those are the most important things in life. Fellow tennis great Nadal is another whose future in the sport was in doubt for a time, after the Spaniard also ended his season early through a foot injury. Nadal has already announced that he is hoping to return to the court in December, though, so he can prepare for the Australian Open in the new year. He has also been tipped to continue his dominance on the clay courts and scoop more French Open titles before he retires. While Federer looks unlikely to add to his incredible 20 Grand Slam titles, both Nadal and Novak Djokovic seem to have the time to do exactly that and surpass the Swiss total.